Okay, Behind the Chips, Episode 5, I'm going to take apart the Z-axis. Uh, this one, I'm just going to take it down, get everything out of it, and then in the next episodes after that, I will clean it up and reassemble it, because I know there's a bunch of junk in there, all kinds of nasty grease and stuff. So, the first step is you're going to have to tilt the entire head here. Uh, the easiest way is because what you're going to do is just I'm going to lay it down where it's sitting on the power supply. I'm going to just put some cardboard down on the table. We'll tilt this thing over 90 degrees by loosening up some of the screws that are up in here. Then I'll lower it down with the uh, steppers. Get it so it lays down on the table. Take those bolts out and then we'll get that out of the way. So that gets that out of the way and then it's easier to take apart everything. And then you can adjust all this stuff without all that weight on there. So you can adjust the gibbs properly and not have to worry about that. So, let me go ahead and uh, get ready for that, and I'll show you where those are. Okay, there is the two bolts. The top upper one is actually just the center point, the actual hinge that's going on, and the lower one is part of a, um, basically like a set screw that's uh, clamping it down in there. A lot of people actually will add two more of those for some rigidity. Uh, I may actually do that. I'm not sure yet because i got to get this thing back going so I can keep on making things. So, what I'm going to do is just lower, loosen those up. Uh, center one, I would just loosen that one up first. I already kind of pre-did this, so do that. And then the lower one, loosen this guy up here. I'm going to go ahead and hold the actual motor in here so I don't have it flopping around. And then we just rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it so it's basically level or horizontal. Oops. And then just tighten her down and that should do the trick next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some cardboard down on the table and then lower that thing down okay so I got the steppers up and running that's that horrible noise I'm gonna put my cardboard here actually just a nice MSC box and just lower the Z carefully here just get it close Just kind of squishing the cardboard. So now I'll go ahead and loosen up the bolts, pull that off, and then I'll just pick it up and move it out of the way. Okay, now I've got the uh, the whole actual machine head off, the motor and drive and everything. I'm going to go ahead and go up to the Z-axis um, stepper and start taking that off. So the first thing I'm going to do is just loosen up the coupling. This one, uh, it's actually one side of it has set screws. The other side is just threaded to match up to the threads on the other end of the lead screw. Uh, I don't know if I can actually get it back off because when I put that on there it was really tough. But I believe it was a 5 8 by 18 thread. Um, just check here. Yeah. Um, I actually went ahead and just bought a tap just for it. It was just a big 5 8 18. I uh, drilled it all out, bored it, and then tapped it and it fit right on there. And then I just made a couple of little flats in it just to do that. So what I'll end up doing is taking the stepper off. I'll take the bracket off, and then I'm just going to take this entire bearing block right off. That'll take the whole, it'll take the coupling end and the actual lead screw out of here. So let me go ahead and uh, loosen up this real quick. All right, now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen up the actual stepper. Uh, should just come right off. And these are just some 1024 socket head cap screws. Loosen those up. They seem to fit the best through these steppers. Um, it's actually a Keeling or Kelling or however you say it technology model KL23H 2100-50-4B. Um, I'll go more into detail on this later, but this is the only one I can actually still read it on because I got all kinds of chemicals all over the other ones. They still work, so that's a good sign. But I'm just going to keep on taking these out. They're kind of long. I can probably use shorter ones, but. That's what I bought. So, that up. I actually have the steppers off right now. Uh, you can tell because it's a lot quieter. You don't hear a horrendous fan blowing, which is from my power supply. This is awkward. The 
this last one here. A lot easier when you're on the correct side of the bolt. And the stepper comes right off. So I'm just going to set that to the side here on my little table. And the next thing is we need to take this bracket off. So you go ahead and grab the right tool for that. I think this is the right one. Let's give it a shot. No, wrong. Kind of doing this live because it's easier than me figuring it all out. Uh, this is a four millimeter metric. I actually match these. This is the same threads that came on the little cap that was on there when you got the machine. I just re-tapped them with a better metric tap. Maybe it was an M5 thread. Redempt them, and then you got longer screws that would go through. Because those things are terrible when you get them. So, this one was a lot easier because everything was lined up. So this plate is pretty much the same thing. 3 8 plate, just bored it out just to fit around the coupling. And apparently I have to take the set screws out to get it off. So I have a tight clearance. Actually, I should be able to. Just run them in. Those in real quick. Take that off. Take these screws. Make sure I don't lose anything, so put this all to the side, and that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the whole top bearing assembly out. Uh, what I have is I made sure I locked down this part here. I got these little locks going on, so it won't slip out. So there's two screws here that hold in the actual um, lead screw nut on the inside, and then there's four bolts here that hold uh, this bearing block in. Uh, what I got here is a 6mm Allen, so first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and loosen these. Just take those out. A washer in there, just keep that, just put that down. Got that in there. Let's see how tight these ones are. Not too bad. Some from me, some just from the factory. Alright, and this all should just come straight out. And again, not quite the perfect plan. Oh, you got this will actually slide right off. I was hoping something like that would happen. And just turn this guy here, work its way out. It's coated in grease. So watch out for wherever you put this so you don't coat everything in grease that you have in your shop. I'm going to put it down somewhere nice and safe. Alright, next thing is we're going to take the actual little Z-axis carriage out. So I'm just going to loosen up. I've got this guy here holding it down. So I'm going to loosen that up and I should be able to just slide it straight out the top. Um, I could actually, let's do this instead. Let's take the give out. I'm just going to take this screw out here. Finish that up my hand. And, well, that's all loosened up, so that'll be easy. So I'm going to go down a little bit. And it just comes right up. And I'll take the get plate out of there. Put that down on the table. So this thing's all nice in here. Put that guy down. Put her down in a better spot later. And that's pretty much it for that. So your whole wax is taken apart. All we have is just the actual column itself. Nothing in it. Uh, so I can go ahead and clean it up. Clean up all the surfaces. Clean up all this. Clean all the junk out of the gibs. Reset those. Clean up the lead screw. And make sure everything's tight down how I want it. Take out any little lash I have in there. 
we'll reassemble it. That'll be in the next episode. Thanks for watching.